today is one of my favorite things which is Irish sea moss. I've always wanted to do a video on this and I decided to just go ahead and do it. So Irish sea moss is something that's sort of like a seaweed type thing that is lives in the bottom of the ocean and I'm just going to show you what it looks like. It really expands a whole lot when you put it in water and it needs to be soaked before you can make the gel. So what is so great about this is that not only has it been known to be like vegan collagen for the skin, but it also is great for your hair, great for your nails. It's so good for the beauty industry. You can use this on your face as a mask if you want it even. And um, it, it just has loads of vitamins and minerals in it also. And it also has something in it that can help with some of the mucus buildup, especially in the lungs, it's been known to do that. And I feel that it helps me with my allergies because it kind of thins out the mucus in your body. So if you have allergies and you have buildup in your nasal cavities, I feel that it helps with that also. But it's also been known to be good for just an all around supplement. So when you make it, you can take like a tablespoon a day and you can use it as a supplement. And who doesn't want extra vitamins and minerals and all of these good things for a supplement with things like COVID and some of the things that we've had going on, it's a good immunity booster. So this is what Irish sea moss looks like. And the first thing you want to do with Irish sea moss is you want to really rinse it very well. So the next thing that you're going to do is soak it at least overnight, 24 hours. And don't use tap water, use good water. I'm going to use distilled water. You can also use spring water. See, this sea moss has really expanded and I'm going to rinse it again one more time. You can see that it even has absorbed a lot of the water. So I'm just going to go ahead and rinse it a little bit more. You want to make sure with Irish sea moss that you really thoroughly rinse before and after because this has been in the sea and you're going to be, be putting it in your body. So you want to make sure you know, sometimes if you really look in some of them, you might see some rocks and stuff, some like sand rocks. So you just want to really, really rinse this out very well. It's going to be in two different parts. I'm going to make a sea moss gel, a regular sea moss gel, and I'm going to make a green smoothie with the sea moss gel. And then I'm going to have a second part where I'm going to make a fruit infused sea moss gel. And so I also want to say that you should make sure when choosing sea moss to get a reputable sea moss. And the kind that I've been using is a wild crafted sea moss and it's by Red's Kitchen. And I've been using this for years. So you don't want to get any of the imitation because there is some out there that has been known to be imitation. So um, let's get started to use two parts to one part water. So I'm going to use two cups of the sea moss gel and I'm gonna measure out one cup of water. And then repeat that step. I'm going to use another two cups 
the sea moss gel to one cup. I'm going to use the same amount of ratios as I did in the other, which is two parts to one part, two parts being the sea moss. And I'm going to add some of these dragon fruit. These are um, a dragon fruit organic uh, smoothie pack. And so I'm going to add those with the four soaked medjool dates. So I'm adding in the dragon fruit and the four medjool dates. Medjool, medjool dates. I have two jars of the sea moss gel, one being just regular and one being this really beautiful colored dragon fruit sea moss gel. So I'm going to go ahead and use the regular sea moss to make a smoothie. Sea moss gel in the refrigerator, which it will harden. And I'm going to use this one, which is starting to get a little bit harder into the smoothie. It's still a little bit jelly-like yet, but that's okay because it's gonna be going into a smoothie anyway. And so I'm going to use, um, this is about a cup and a half or so of almond milk and so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add I'm going to add like two tablespoons of the sea moss gel and you know people don't always have to use two tablespoons sometimes you can just use one I'm just going to use two today and I'm going to add some spinach to this smoothie, some green spinach, and I'm going to use a half an avocado and two soaked dates. And I'm going to add a little bit of, this is um, green spirulina. And I'm going to use some chia seeds And I'm going to use just a little bit of um, pumpkin seeds today. For some reason, I'm in the mood for pumpkin seeds. Pumpkin seeds are really good for you. They have a lot of zinc. And I'm gonna use a frozen banana. So let's pour this delicious green smoothie. Boy, this is just so creamy and just looks so delicious. Mm. Irish sea moss is so good in smoothies. It makes it so nice and creamy. And there's so many other things that you can do with Irish sea moss. You can also make wraps. I've made some really good wraps with Irish sea moss. So you can store these in the refrigerator for up to about three or four months and you know they just work great for so many things. You can use them in so many different recipes and there's so many health benefits to it. I would really suggest reading up on some of the benefits of sea moss and also it's just such a beautifying thing. I also did a video where I talked about the eight uh, things that I like to eat for better hair and skin. And I swear by these things. And the Irish sea moss gel was one of those things that I mentioned in that video that you can find in my playlist like this video and these ideas but most of all I really hope that this encourages people to want to go out and buy some Irish sea moss so if you like this video please give me a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel and have a wonderful blessed day